Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see that what shortcuts we can apply using a combination of two keys. So in this video, we are going to look at the combination of the shift keys and the function keys. In our previous videos, we have already covered about some of the combination key shortcuts and some of the single key shortcuts as well. So uh, let us start with the video. As I have already told you that in this video, we are going to look at shift and the function key shortcut. So the combination of those would be shown for your reference on the left side of the screen. You all can see that there is a table given which gives you the keys from F1 till F12 and what functions do they perform if they are pressed with the help of the shift keys. So this table is just for your reference. So if you want, you can refer to it anytime you want. And um, now I'm going to show you each of these shortcuts with a small practical demonstration so that you can easily understand their functionality. Now, each of these functions are very simple and we have already covered most of them in our previous lectures. But since there is a shortcut uh, series, so we are going to cover them in detail right now. If we talk about the combination of shift plus F1, then there is no shortcut key uh, or no function assigned to this combination. So you can use it for macros when you are using shortcuts for macros. Shift F1 is what you can use. Then we have shift F2 uh, that is used to add or edit comments. Now you must have been remembering from the videos of uh, on our comments that uh, we have already covered how can we add comments, how can we edit them or how can we delete them. So I'm not going to uh, discuss it all in detail, but I'm going to show you a small demonstration of the same. So first of all, what is comments? We all know that comments is for the reference of a viewer who is new to the sheet so that he can understand that what the person who has created the sheet has done and why he has done something. So it helps to explain a particular feature. Suppose I write anything like uh, I write in this cell hello and I want to add a comment to it. So what shortcut can I use is shift F2. Now, when I use this shortcut, since there was no comment added on the cell, so a new comment is added with my name as the username, uh, which is going to be added by default. And now here you can type your comment. Like I'm going to type greetings like this. And you can press enter to add multiple lines of comments, or you can just press the escape key to come out of it. And if you select uh, or click on any other active cell, then this comment would not work. But if you just go to this cell, then this comment is shown like this. Okay. Now, uh, this comment is already added. Now what happens if you press shift F2, then you are able to edit this comment. Suppose you have written something, but you're not satisfied with it. So you want to edit it. So you can do it by using shift F2. You just put it greetings and I'm going to type for the day like this. And again, you can press escape key. So this is your new comment. Now, if any user selects on it, then greetings for the day is what he is going to see instead of greetings because we have edited the comment. Now we have shift F3, which is used to paste a function. So what is this uh, works for? Suppose you are on a cell and you want to insert a function to it. Suppose I want to insert the sum function to it and I do not know its syntax or I do not want to actually type it. So what can I do is simply press shift F3 from my keyboard. And as soon as I do that, what do I get is in this active cell, I get an equal sign that is written already. The reason why all the formulas in Microsoft Excel begins with an equal sign. So as soon as I press that shortcut, Microsoft Excel automatically adds this equal sign in my cell because it knows that I'm going to insert a function over here. Then I get this insert function dialog box, which is what we get when we go to the insert tab and then we have this functions option. Here you can just search for the function. So I'm going to search for some function and then click on go. So we have got this sum function. You can click on OK. And here you can type 
numbers any number uh, of arguments you can type over here suppose i type 89 then i put a tab 67 i again put a tab 45 tab 23 tab 23 again tab 47 tab 12 any numbers of arguments that i want i can give to it like here you can see it's up to 251 and once you click on okay what happens is uh in this cell you get the sum of these numbers that is the result and here you can see the function that what all numbers are been added so uh this is how you can insert a function and not only some function you can insert any function that you want next we have shift f4 but for uh, before that we are going to cover shift f5 suppose you want to find something we have hello written on this sheet and i want to find it so you got to press shift f5 to bring out this find and replace dialog box and i want to find hello and you can click on find next so this cell becomes active cell now you can just close it now what happens if you want to find it again then you got to press shift f4 actually nothing happens cuz it is the only occurrence of the hello word so let us just write it some more times okay now if you just press shift f4 then it toggles between these three occurrences which means once you have found anything and it has been stored over at the find and replace dialog box you can just find it again using the shortcut shift f4 now uh, shift f5 we have covered shift f6 is the next shortcut that is used to toggle between panes we already know what are panes we have three panes in this screen first is this tabs pane then is this sheet panes and then is this status bar panes so if you want to toggle between them what shortcut you can use is shift f6 you can see that you can toggle between them like this okay so currently i am in this pane which i am going to work upon next we have uh, shift f7 shortcut for thesaurus so what does it does suppose you have written this word hello and you want to see some of the synonyms of this word in the dictionary so what you can do is press shift f7 from your keyboard this will help you to bring out the uh, synonyms of this word which you can just um, replace with or if you want to show uh, its meaning then we have got this meaning like its greetings you can also write howdy you can also write good morning you can also write good day you can also write hi you can also write greetings anything that you like you can write so it's for the purpose where you want to make your text somewhat to a higher level or you want to change the multiple occurrences of a word suppose there are multiple occurrences of the word so you can replace it with synonyms sometimes so that um for a better and a clear text then we have shift 8 which has no shortcut shift f9 is to manually calculate a worksheet now how this process works suppose we have written some of the uh, numbers over here like this okay now i want to find its sum so what i do is put an equal sign right sum put a parenthesis select this range close this parenthesis and press enter so 435 is the sum of these numbers but what if i just change this uh, 89 value to something else say 30 and then i press enter now the sum of these numbers is actually 376 as you can see in the status bar but here it is already 435 so to overcome this problem you need to manually calculate your worksheet by pressing on the key shift f9 sorry it's shift f9 and you can see that as soon as you press that 376 value is what it's been updated now the next shortcut shift f10 brings us the context menu if you are on this active cell and you right click so the menu you get is known as context menu but if you do not want to use a mouse you can press shift f10 and the context menu will be in front of you then you can use arrows to navigate and perform any action that you want to perform shift f11 helps you to open a new worksheet as you can see the book name is same book 1 but a new sheet 6 has been created so it is used to create a new worksheet 
Similarly, the last shortcut key that we have is Shift F12 helps you to save the worksheet or the workbook since it's not already saved. So it takes me to the save as panel. I can go to browse and I can save it to anything anywhere that I want. So let's save it as shortcuts in MS Excel 2 and click on save. So yes, my workbook is saved as shortcuts in MS Excel 2. So that is all that we have covered about the shortcuts with the shift key and the function keys. I hope you all have learned something new. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.